गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक योर लैब सेशन एज इन योर स्लेबस यू आर हैविंग द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ एम एस ड्रॉज सो एंड प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ एम एस वर्ड एम एस एक्सल एंड एम एस पावर पॉइंट एज दिस इज वन पैकेज दैट इज नोन एज एम एस ऑफिस ओके सो इनके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर स्टार्टिंग द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ एम एस ऑफिस and uh, in ms office i am going to take the lab sessions of ms word okay after completing ms word i'll take some sessions some lab sessions of ms jaws also so first of all you just come to the ms word so to open any ms word file first of all what we have to do for example uh, first of all you have to install ms office on to your desktop or your laptop okay this is the first step which you have to do in your uh, computer okay if you are having the package that is ms office then after that what you have to do you have to go in the start menu first okay this is your start menu so you will go into this start menu after that there will be one option that is of ms word so you have to click on it okay so i have taken one uh, ms word file okay once i have clicked on the ms word then one file will be opened okay so this is our new word file now today we will cover the number of options which are available in file manager okay so first of all you just uh, have some text within this word file so for example i am having some text i have copied and i have taken i have written some text in my ms word file okay so you can write anything you can write anything for example if you are writing your uh, one bio data for yourself you can do that okay so suppose this is uh, some uh, some data which i have taken for performing the number of options which are available in this file menu okay so first of all if you check your uh, ms word file so uh, in case of that uh, what has basically been happen like uh, this is what the first of all this is one save button so with the help of save button first of all whenever you are opening one new file then what you have to do first of all you have to save your file okay so for that purpose you have to click on the save option so now it will be ask uh, the file name okay so you just write down lab session 01 so the by default extension of this word file will be dot doc or dot docx okay because you are saving this file in ms word document okay so the extension of this file will be dot doc now you can choose any location like where you want to save this file you want to save it on desktop whether you want to save it on uh, in any drive okay so you can do that you can select the location where you want to save this word file for example i have choose like save this file on desktop and after that i have given one name to this file that is lab session dash 01 okay so this file will be saved on my desktop then after the hand the next command is of undo typing means for example i have uh, like written something undo means like uh, sometime before i have written here that is 01 so if i want to remove this 01 so what i'll do i can click on this undo typing okay and control z uh, is the shortcut command for performing this undo button for example i am clicking on this undo in 01 will be removed from here okay and uh, if you want to uh, apply some shortcut key then you can do that control z is pressed 
to perform the undo option and if you want to perform redo option this is basically the redo option means so for example i have written uh, 0 1 sometime before i have written here 0 1 so if i'll click on it then what will be done uh, the uh, text which i have written sometime before it will become here okay so this is these are the commands in ms word then after that this is one quick print option if you'll click on it then this document will be printed by giving this command okay then after that this is basically the print preview and print option means if you want to check like how your file is looking like then you can click on print preview option so that your page your file is looking like this so this is basically the print preview option if you want to cancel it then what you have to do you have to click on exit button you are saving this file okay you have clicked on save button and where i have saved it i have saved it on my desktop okay so this is what this is my uh, lab session 01 file then after that what are the number of options which are available in file menu okay so you just click on this file menu then after that there is one option that is save save means like you have opened one document you have opened one new document or one new file now you want to save your file okay then you will click on save button but if you want to make one copy of that file then you will click on save as like I am having uh, I have one file that is uh, this. This is one file that is lab session 1. Then after that, for example, I want to make one copy of it. I want to make one copy of it. Then I, what, I, what I will do, I will click on save as button. Then I will give one another name to that file. And what will be done it will be saved with new name that is lab session 2 means the same if you want the same content in one other file then you can do that by clicking on the save as button okay right now the next uh, option is open so whenever you will click on open then you can open any of the file like if you want to open any one file which you have saved onto your computer then you can do that by clicking on this open button and if you want to close your open file like you have uh, uh, this lab session 2 this file is open right now if you want to close it then what will happen then it will be closed whenever or as soon as possible you will click on this close button then the file will be closed then the next thing is info by clicking on info you can get like uh, what is the size of your file how many pages you are having in your file how many words you are having in your file and total editing time which you have taken for this is uh, like and uh, last modified date creation date last printed date <clears throat> author details so these all the properties of that file you can get by clicking on this info button then after that uh, the next option that is recent so by clicking on recent you can access all the files all the word files which you have recently opened okay now the next thing that is new so by clicking on new button you can open any of the file like if you want any blank document of word file if you want to open blog post recent template sample template then you can do so but generally or most commonly we just use the blank document okay then the next command is print command so if you click on it then uh, the printer which is connected with your laptop or the computer will come uh, will be shown and after that like if you want to print the same page then you can uh, print that page and uh, you first of all you have to tell like uh, how many copies do you want of the same page 
okay so you can do that this is basically the printing option if you want to print any of the document any of the file from your computer or the laptop and then after that save and send if you will click on the save and send then what will happen your file will be saved then after that you can send this file using any email id then you can uh, send this file uh, with the help of internet onto the wam you can even share this file and uh, you can change the file type like for example if you want to convert this file extension means you want to convert this word file into pdf then you can do so okay so these are the things which are available in save and send option then after that in help option we are having some uh, if you want any help then you can click on the help button so these all were uh, all about the file option okay now the next thing that is home so this is the next menu that is home menu in case of home menu what we are having uh, basically uh, the first option which we are having in home is paste so paste will be done if we have copied any of the uh, text or any of the you know, like uh, para paragraph then only this paste option will be work okay so for example uh, i have to copy this paragraph in my next page also so what i'll do first of all i'll select the my uh, i'll select the paragraph which i want to uh, paste in my second page or in my other file okay so first of all i'll select that paragraph i'll select that particular uh, word i'll select that particular sentence which i want to uh, paste in my another document or in my same document but on any other page okay then after that i'll click on uh, whether you want to cut through this paragraph means you, you want to cut it out from this uh, file or you want to only copy that uh, paragraph so this is basically the option for you if you want to copy then you just click on this copy button and uh, control plus c command can be used for copying this uh, paragraph then after that what you will do for example you have to paste uh, this paragraph uh, or you want to paste this paragraph in page number 3 so for example this is page number 3 so if you want to copy here then uh, you have copied that uh, paragraph now you have to paste it so you will click on the paste option okay so the uh, copied paragraph will be pasted out here okay i think uh, this will be clear to you then the next option is format painter now what is the meaning of this format painter format painter means like uh, you have uh, changed the style of this paragraph for example you have changed the font style of this paragraph in times new roman and you have uh, even uh, changed the size of it for example the size of this paragraph you have made is 18 okay so uh, now if you will click on by selecting this paragraph uh, if you will click on this format painter okay you have clicked on this format painter now whenever you will click on one another uh, paragraph or any other word then format painter means the same uh, style which you have changed of that copied uh, data then that will be applied on this selected paragraph for example now you want to apply the same setting in this paragraph also then it will be done only by clicking or only by selecting this format paint option okay this paint brush uh, this paint brush option will come if you have clicked on if you have uh, select any of the uh, word any of the sentence any of the paragraph then after that you have clicked on format painter and now you want to apply that same setting on to other sentences or on to other word then this paint press option will be shown okay and uh, as soon as possible you will click on the, uh, the paragraph then the same setting will be applied on this paragraph also like this okay 
so the same setting which we have applied on the uh, uh, paragraph which uh, which is mentioning uh, like which which has mentioned here the same setting will be done for the another paragraph also okay for example you have selected this data so what is the style of this for example you have selected algerian okay and the size of this uh, is 24 okay now what you want to do for example you have clicked on format painter and you want to apply the same setting on to any this paragraph so this will be done only by clicking on this format painter option okay so hope you have understood this much of options so thank you everyone uh, rest of the options will be covered in the next session so till then thank you so much